Talkin' Tunes with Charlie on the Beat Junkies. Powered by Dash Radio. So what I want to talk about is actually um, for the people who are burnt out on social media. Like it was, it was a phase. It was really cool to be a participant, but you just want to observe. But even after observing, you're just done. I get it because you have to keep in mind these people on Facebook and Instagram, what they're producing is a highlight film of who they are. It's not really them. I know people personally that I've worked with and who are friends with that will post like, oh, I'm out at the beach having dinner with this, having dinner with that. And then you know what? I, I'll compliment them on a direct message and they'll be like, I'm not really that happy with my life. I want to move back to California. So if I were you guys, it's either you jump ship or unfollow a bunch of people. That's what I suggest, especially on Instagram. Because on Instagram, it's made for you to mask something. Look at all the filter that comes out. Look at all the offshoot apps that come off for photography. Your, your life isn't that great unless if you're a gazillionaire. And even you got people like Anthony Bourdain, who I love and I dearly miss, has a cake job, but ends up committing suicide. So. If I were you guys, if you were on Instagram, on Facebook, either you just, un you don't have to unfollow them. I think you can just, or you can unfriend them or, or best you can just unfollow them or mute them on Instagram. So that's the way I do it. I feel a lot better of myself because you know, people will take it as like bridge burning if you unfollow or defriend them. So that's my suggestion if you're already burnt out with social media, because I am. I just happen to be a content creator I don't care to be on Instagram. I don't care to be on Facebook, but I must be just for the brand. Thanks. <laughs>